Hey guys, and welcome to the start of something new. Dang it, now I'm seeing High School Musical. And hopefully it will get better than that. I recently did a video called Student to Adult, and it was about the transition between student life and the stuff that you did and the mindset you had then, and the new one you get when you just stop going to university, basically, and when you have to transition to this different type of mindset. And I talked about where I made the distinctions and stuff like that, and you guys seemed to really like it. All the comments are really positive, got a lot of likes, got a lot of views, and I think that this is something that you guys are equally interested in. I have more that I can say about this. It's something that I'm experiencing, and it's something that I have experienced for the past few years. So hopefully this video will be followed by others at some point in the future, and this will become a little series. So free time. I'm currently working my first full-time job and the years leading up to this were sort of like baby steps working towards this and I'm sure I still have more of those baby steps to come in the next few years. And each time I take a little step forward I realize that I have less and less time to do anything it feels like. All of the things that you have to do are trying to compete with all the things that you want to do and you at some point I think come to the realization that you can't keep up with all the things that you're trying to do. So I want to talk a little bit about the new approach to hobbies and free time that I've adapted. Wherever your current place is, there was always going to be one thing that stands out as your responsibility. Whether that's your classes, your university classes, if you're a full-time student, or whether that's your job, whether it's part-time or full-time or whatever it is, that will stand out as the thing that has to become your priority. Everything else that you devote yourself to, regardless of how difficult or fun it is, it's going to become a hobby. For me, I'm a social media manager and everything else I do, music and writing and reading and languages, that's all considered a hobby right now for me. But hobbies are probably also going to be things that are not scheduled on your timeline. It's not something that you have to show up for every day or every week. And that's why they coincide with your free time, because hobbies are also things like watching TV and watching movies and things that are a little more passive, which I also like to do in my spare time. When you find yourself in a crunch, it's almost always the hobbies and the free time that get sacrificed and that get moved back on your priority list. And that's normal. That's not really necessarily always a bad thing. You sometimes have to sacrifice those things that are not as important for the really important thing. But when it comes to establishing your daily routine, I personally recommend that you really, really try to find time, just even the tiniest of slots, to devote to some sort of hobby or some sort of free activity. To the best of your abilities, this is really, really important. And even when it seems impossible, and it's gonna probably continue to seem more and more impossible, especially when we're sort of in this new adult phase. There's a lot of stuff just going on in your brain at this moment. But try to give yourself a little bit of time for something that's not required, just something you like to do. At the same time, don't expect to be able to keep up with everything that you've done in the past. Part of growing up and changing is the ebb and flow and the coming and going of certain interests and activities. And the less and less free time you have, the more and more important it is for you to be able to narrow down and really figure out what makes you happy. Because you don't want to cut that one thing. You want to cut the others. You want to cut the ones that are just kind of fun, but that don't really affect you. So when you're choosing your hobbies and when you're narrowing them down, I think one of the primary things that should be on your mind is your happiness. At the same time, your career should be on your mind. This is a time in our lives when we're sort of figuring out how to be an adult, when our careers are really important. It's not the end all be all. Of course, there are other things to life and you have plenty of time ahead to change your careers or improve your career or whatever you want to do to your career. But it's still honestly a very influential time in your life and your career really should be at the forefront of your mind. So narrowing down your hobby list, personal happiness, career. Those are my two things I advise you to have at the top of your mind. If you limit it down to just the ones that are going to affect one of those two things, for me personally, I think that's going to have the best outcome in the future. So then once you've chosen those hobbies and how you want to spend your free time, you might feel a little more confident about how you want to spend your evenings. That still doesn't, of course, give you more magical free time that you have to do all the things in the world, and you're still probably going to have a lot of moments of feeling stressed and like you don't have enough time for even those limited things. It is a balance. So I recommend maximizing your time when you're at work. Try not to think too much about your hobbies, try not to think too much about what you're going to do afterward. Focus as much as you can when you're doing your responsibility. Work, university classes, whatever it is. I'm just gonna say work. Then once it's time to go home, check out. Check out completely. Check out for at least that small little smidgen of time that you've given yourself for your free time. Take that time and focus completely on whatever that hobby is. Keeping in mind whenever you know that you're gonna stop focusing on that hobby so that you can focus on a different hobby or go to bed or whatever's on your schedule. You can't magically conjure up more time, but you can make the most of the time that you do have. And of course, as you're figuring out how to be an adult, you still have a lot of years ahead of you. Don't feel like this is like 
the month or the year that you have to figure everything out, but you also can make life a lot easier for yourself in the future if you start trying to form good habits and think really hard about how you want to spend your time and spend it to the fullest as much as you possibly can. It might seem strange to schedule your relaxed time, the time that you're supposed to be chillaxing is something you've written in your calendar, it's kind of a different concept, but sometimes that's the only one you really have, the only choice you have. And it's nice to have a little time on the weekends if you can, to have nothing planned. And this will be the free time that I'm not scheduling, I'll watch a movie or I'll read a book or do whatever I want to do. That's nice too, but that's another episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had a really good time filming this and talking about this. It's something that's always on my mind. Let me know in the comments what are some things that you might want to see in a future episode of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I want to know a secret? I'm wearing PJs. Cause that is just the kind of day it is today.